chickpeas. I'm doing a sandwich filling or a wrap filling with chickpeas today. It's very easy. Not many ingredients are needed. Most of it is found at our homes, except for maybe you need to go find olives. Actually, I always have olives in my fridge. So, and mint and coriander. It is quite delicious. Just make the spice levels according to your taste. And if you like it a bit dry or if you like it a bit wet, you can increase the olive oil and the yogurt in this. Do like, do subscribe and all the recipes are given in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I'd baked some chia batas yesterday. So I'm going to be eating it with these. You can use your regular sandwich uh, breads or whatever you've baked at home. So let's get on with this. I had soaked and boiled some chickpeas or kabuli chana. Take it in a bowl and just mash it. So either use your hand or a fork, whatever, just mash it. To the mashed chickpeas, add some green chilies. Now again, please add it according to your preference. Finely chopped onions fresh coriander, fresh mint. Always chop your mint just before you want to use it. Otherwise, it's going to lose its color and become black. Here are some olives. I'm going to just chop this fine and then add it. Here are the chopped olives that goes in here. Pepper. Also, you need to add curd in this. So hang your curd. Take some extra virgin olive oil. Mix it to the curd, salt, give it a good mix, we'll be adding it to the mixture here. So let's just mix this one gently. All this has been mixed well, now I'm taking the yogurt and the olive oil and adding that. Mix it well, after mixing taste it, if you want to add more chilies, pepper, salt, if you think it's feeling too dry, then add some more yogurt with a bit of olive oil again. This makes a very nice meal. I eat it like this also sometimes without any rotis or wraps or sandwiches. I quite like it. After it's all mixed, you can refrigerate and keep it till you use it. Wasn't this quick? Do give it a try. So let's make our sandwiches. I'm going to try and slice my chia vata first. So once sliced, just add some lettuce leaf. This is very optional if you feel like you can add. If you don't want to, you don't need to. That chickpea mixture that we had made, just add that on top. You can also add a slice of cheese if you feel like. I'm not going to be doing that. That's it. You make all your sandwiches like this and enjoy the filling. This comes out really, really well.